Hey everybody, today is June 30th and here is the next update to my pepper series. Today is going to be a very good update because we'll be doing some harvesting today. So I'll go around quickly and show you what's going on and uh, let you see some of the fruits that are ripening right now. The first plant here as usual is my ahi habanero. A little bit of uh, shriveling due to lack of water so I'm gonna give it water very soon. Texas heat is ridiculous right now it gets up to the hundreds and so on so I'm trying to get my plants out of the sun and give it a little shade but uh, the ahi is ready to be picked check this out they're very nice and cool uh, no heat when they're like this but uh, very good flavor most of them have ripened this is when the, it is most ripened okay so let's go on to the next okay next up is my Jamaican scotch bonnet yellow it's doing pretty well recovering nicely putting out some buds it's not as large as I would like but I'm still happy with how it's doing right now as opposed to what happened to this plant early on in the video uh, next here is the BTR and there's one fruit there doesn't look too much like a BTR to me and the graph is not doing too well it's probably just gonna remain this way for the remainder of the time more fruit coming out and then next is my pecan oh, the pecan is looking awesome look at the size of this plant here a ton of fruits that just everywhere look at this these guys are really fun to grow but when it comes to picking these it's a pain because they're just so tiny Just a bunch of fruits everywhere. Then my Bahamian goat over winter, it's doing well, recovering. I'm surprised that it's gotten to this size. Uh, I thought it was gonna die. Next is my Omni Color that I put out here late in the season. So hopefully it'll make it. And then the rest of the plants and here is my CPR. The CPR just got some aphids all over the place here. So I need to treat this very soon. But other than that, it's doing fine except for the leaf problem. Uh, some friends suggested how to fix this, so I'll, I'll get on that soon. Two of the crosses that I put out later. Another two. And my ahi pineapple. Look at this guy. It's just looking so strange. It looks like two tiny fruits coming out of the same calyx as the larger fruit in the middle there's more fruits down here these are my MA Wartex doing okay and then here is the other BTR this one is looking better than the other one looks okay I don't really like the shape of this because it looks like a seven pot to me and nothing like a butch t tom's reaper no stinger or anything like that it could just be this plant only and back here is uh, ma vortex and that one's not doing much here's a jay's red ghost putting out a few nice fruits this plant is just suffering because look at this <laughs> the fruit here something ate it We'll see what that is. And then back here is another Jay's Red Ghost. Not as many fruits as I would like, but I'm still happy with to get a few. So I'm hoping to pick all of this very soon and then have it produced the second time, like last year. Okay, the chocolate bootla or something else. <laughs> looking nice. Look at this. Crazy looking fruit looks very spicy then my white devil's tail this plant is much smaller than the one last year but it's okay then red scotch bonnet like it's ripening here very cool looking fruit small tree but producing very well and then here is my other MA Wartex one of it is ripened. This one is uh, not a stable variety because 
they these look like ghosts and they should look like this see this this is the shape that I like so I would be saving seeds for this and grow it again but here's another one that looks like it and the rest is just look like ghost pepper okay here is seven pot bubble gum the one that I thought was gonna die is coming back sugar rush I picked a few pods off of this guy so I'm gonna be picking a few more today and here is the bubble gum check this guy out look at this huge pot these are the large variety I've eaten one of this already and it tastes very nice it's just the heat is not much like a habanero but it's very flavorful it smells great kind of citrusy and then my MOA scotch bonnet here it is check this guy out it's a huge fruit this is the shape that I like so I will be saving seeds for only the fruits that I really like That's another one I don't really like that shape that's the shape that I want right there okay here's my propagated plant I got a few reapers out of here so let me show you check that out and the reason I propagate plants usually is to keep the exact uh, type without having to fear that it cross pollinated somehow so if you guys want to keep one of the plant pier and uh, when you grow it as close as I do here just propagate it and you get the same thing and down there is the the ghost variety that I also propagated it this is another reaper I got a few reaper look at this guy look at that stinger crazy looking and then, surprising how well these guys are doing I, I hardly take care of it just left it there okay here are the rest of them this guy is a beauty right here it is the Jay's peach ghost times chocolate ghost and there are some starting to ripen down there it's hard to get down there but look at this it's just loaded with fruits <laughs> I get all of those fruits down there. I just lift the leaves. And then let me turn this around and I'll show you more. Look at that. It's just loaded. It's a beautiful plant and the fruits are just down there. Let's spin it around more. Look at this. It's ridiculous. On a tiny plant. This is not even a foot high. And the next one here is the same got this from Batman man this guys are pretty large way bigger than these but they're the same variety because I got them from the same seed package beautiful plants the fruits are all at the bottom looking very nice so at the top you don't really don't see anything and then white labuyo I think I have a fruit somewhere there it is right here and that's another one I have two of them in here these are very tall looking because I didn't top them here's my chocolate scotch bonnet I love this variety because it's so beautiful and it, the fruits are awesome if you have not seen or taste this particular variety check out Dave's channel he's he's just done one recently I will link you so you can watch it but very beautiful fruits these are the shape that I like here so I only save seeds for these kind of shapes the rest I just put aside to use there's some down there those are nice shapes and here is my prize plant this is a ghost cross and it's not stable so the fruits are all different shapes and size so let me show you that one looks probably like a scorpion and maybe a seven pot or some kind of ghost variety look at that it 
it's loaded down with fruits. Very large too. So I'll be I'll be growing these again next year because I love this variety. And the propagated plants that I showed you earlier, it came from this plant here. I just cut off a branch. Oh, see that chopped off branch? That's what I used to propagate the other two. Look at that. Very nice looking. See, these are the shapes that I like, so I'll be growing these. And then lastly, it's just a bunch of plants that I put together. And let me show you something very interesting. You see that there? That is a graft. And I think it is an MOA scotch bonnet. And then I grafted something else onto it. I don't remember, but... I think this is an MOA fruit. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore because I grafted it onto something else. I think the label might, might have told me, but I can't get to it. And then I have some Bahamian goat somewhere in here. And some MA Vortex, I think. I don't know what this is. Let me see. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is an MA Vortex. Okay, here's what I picked so far. I didn't want to pick so many because they're not completely ripened. But this is a decent harvest. Not too bad. I got ahi habs. Love these. These are just so sweet and very flavorful. Absolutely no heat. These are MOA scotch bonnets. I got two. Look at the size of these guys. Very big. Then I have the bubblegum, large. I'm gonna see if I can taste these tonight. Got some sugar rush. Beautiful fruits. They look good too. But then a bad ghost. I, I wanna see if I can save some seeds for these. But yeah, that's all for this update. Thanks for watching.